Welcome to another Solid Applications technical video. This is the second training video on setting up a sheet format in SOLIDWORKS. In the previous video, we imported a DXF file or DWG file as a sheet format into a SOLIDWORKS drawing file. Next, we are going to map the part property to automatically display in our 2D drawing sheet. First, we have to input the relevant properties on the part file. Switching to a part file, select the file properties icon to display the file properties. On the custom tab, I'm going to add the properties that I wish to display on my 2D drawing sheet. Simply type the name of the property or select from the drop down list the property name. Enter a value for the property, in this case the part number. The evaluated value is what will be displayed on your drawing sheet. Repeat this operation for all the properties you wish to display on your drawing sheet. The part material has been defined in the Feature Manager design tree, so can be linked to a part property by selecting it from the value drop down list. The same can be done for the file property named weight. It can be linked to the mass of the designed component. Finally, I will add the properties for author, title and subject. These properties are then saved to the part. We then insert the part into the drawing sheet to enable us to retrieve the part properties we created onto the drawing sheet. From the layout tab, select standard three views, select our part with the properties and the views are added to our 2D drawing. To edit our sheet format, right mouse button click and select edit sheet format. The drawing views disappear and we can now edit our drawing sheet. On the annotation tab, select the text note icon. Select the no leader icon. You can specify the font style if you uncheck the use document font. We can now specify the font to be used in the drawing sheet. Position the text note where the relevant property is to be positioned. Next, select from the property manager the link to property icon. From the dialog box, select model in the view specified in sheet property and from the drop down list, select the relevant property for the text. This links the part property to the text in the 2D drawing sheet. This procedure can be repeated for all the properties we set up on the part. Description, part number and revision. Text can be aligned using the yellow alignment indicators. We will now add the property weight and author to the part. I will use the Format Painter to copy the text size and font from existing text to the property text placed down. The date on the drawing sheet needs to be the property of the current document. The part could have been created months ago, 
but we want the date to be the date the drawing was created, not the part model. I will select the short date and turn off the show time. We have now completed our sheet format and must remember to exit the sheet format in confirmation corner and save our sheet format. The sheet format is saved to the default location but should be mapped to somewhere on the server where all users can access the same sheet formats. Giving the drawing sheet a sensible name will allow us to easily select the correct size sheet when creating a new drawing. Thanks for watching this short solid applications training movie.